So M81 is extremely based of a camo scheme, but it is not based for the reasons that some of you all may think it is. Some of you all may think it's just really cool looking, it's good camouflage in the woods in most of America. The thing that makes M81 particularly intriguing to someone like me is it is not a uniform or a camouflage or a pattern that government entities use with the slight exception being the army in certain phases of training and the Marine Corps and very select uh, use cases and a few other spe special operations units. But federal government entities and law enforcement state entities do not use M81, at least not that I know of, not that I've seen ever. They don't use M81 for uh, as an identifying pattern. So for civilians or citizens, I should say, who want to have equipment to sort of discern themselves apart from other organizations and other people, M81 just happens to be a very, um, it, it, it ends up being a very good option, in my opinion, and in our opinion here at T-Rex. Uh, so with that said, we are bringing M81 to all of our nylon across the board here at T-Rex, and that includes all future nylon products that we bring in, such as our large chest rig, which is coming soon, um, and a few other products. Uh, M81 is going to be included just as much as Ranger Green. Now there's another thing that we're doing uh, with our nylon, and that is we're not just releasing nylon products in like full color suites like some companies do. We are trying to maximize uh, really the use case for those colors per those products and what those products are for. So for example, for our large chest rig that holds eight magazines and a bunch of other stuff, we're not making that in black. It doesn't make sense to use in a law enforcement capacity. Black is not necessarily a great camouflage color for any sort of combat operation. So we're not making that product in black. We're making that in Coyote, M81, Multicam, Ranger Green, more practical colors for combat, which is what most of this gear is actually for. Low-vis plate carriers, on the other hand, like the AC-1 and some other products out there like the Ready Ray, we'll make that in black, we'll make that in gray because it makes sense. And we have some veterans here in-house. It's not just me coming up with all this, because I know you guys are like, oh, you're a civilian, you know nothing. We've got a MARSOC guy and some other military guys and law enforcement as well who are helping us make these decisions in-house so that we can best serve the customer, you guys, and the community while also sending a message, which is a big, you know, important thing here at T-Rex. So, M81, uh, this is an AC-1. Uh, this is slick. This is exactly what it'll look like uh, when it releases. And uh, in the future, we'll have some other plate carrier options as well. It'll make a little bit more sense having those in M81. Uh, this is mine that I have built out. Uh, black with M81 looks very nice. I actually really like it. Um, I spray painted the Cummerbund a little bit. The Cummerbund comes in Coyote. Um, they don't make M81 elastic, at least not of this type of elastic right here. So I threw a little bit of spray paint on there to get it to match a little better, and it looks nice. And uh, the other nice thing is it matches uh, very well with anything that you have in sort of Ranger Green. So this is my Opscore SF helmet that I've been using for years. And that goes really nicely with my M81 setup. We'll also have the Med 1, which you guys are very familiar with. These are some pouches from some other companies, although we have some of our own coming soon. And those will also be an M81. Um, and then we have other products on the way as well. So if you are an M81 enjoyer, um, or you like the idea of having a camo pattern uh, that makes you, you know, you're not going to blend in with other entities out there that maybe you can use to be uniform with your group of other concerned citizens. Um, M M81 just is a pretty good option for that. And on top of that, it works as a pretty good camouflage as well. So uh, sound off in the comments uh, what you think about that. If you think M81 is... Um, useful for that, stupid for that, dumb. Um, I do want to make a point though about M81. Uh, this is important to understand. Since there is no like, let's just say standard for M81, how it's created and printed, when you start to compare uh, materials, uh, especially from different decades of equipment, your M81 is going to be all over the place. This is a Camelback that was made in like the 2010, 2000, not 2010s, but like, well, yeah, it would have been probably 2010, 2011. And this M81 color scheme looks very different than our more modern M81 that's a little bit more brown. And if you go even older than that to, I don't think I have any here, like this Shaw Concepts plate carrier, this old M81 pouch I have on the back is extremely dark. This is from the 90s. 
So M81 is also a very inconsistent pattern. The squadron material is super vibrant and very bright, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. But it is something to understand that M81 across the board is very just different. It's not gonna be as consistent as say multi-cam. Um, and we've learned that the hard way, getting stuff made in M81. So M81 coming soon to T-Rex Arms, if it isn't available already. Uh, for those of you that are interested in having a camo pattern that is useful, but also sets you apart from other folks.